a little bit of um, a word association today. Um, actually, race word association. I'm going to say a few words and I want you guys to think about what race actually pops into your mind. And we only want to, just to make it simple, white people, black people. That's it. We just want to put these two you know, out there as possible answers. Um, ready? Okay. Um, power, poverty, respect, lack of education, wealth, baby daddy. Now put a footnote there, okay? I love listening to talk radio. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I listen to a variety of different talk radio show hosts. Um, anyone from Rush Limbaugh to Sean Hannity to um, Roland Martin, Al Sharpton, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, Bev Smith, just a whole, just everybody's different perspective. Personally for me, I am a Democrat. Um, but I do have some conservative views. For instance, I am pro-life for myself, but pro-choice for anybody else. Um, you know, I want it to be their own decision. But for me personally, I am pro-life. Um, I believe in the death penalty. I believe in affirmative action. Um, I believe in your right to bear arms. Um, so I, my views are kind of like all over the place, but generally ever since I've been voting and that's been, you know, I voted in every election ever since I was, you know, 18. So ever since I've been voting, I've always tended to vote Democrat. That's just me. That's what I do. But with this particular race coming up and, and of course, um, talking about Sarah Palin and her daughter, Bristol. Sarah Palin's daughter, Bristol, 17, pregnant, not married. But every single time that they mention what I've noticed by listening to these different talk radio shows and watching the coverage on, you know, CNN, MSNBC, all these different channels, um, what I have noticed, and this is very interesting, what I've noticed is, is that no matter when they're actually talking about Bristol Palin and her situation, they always, always say um, Bristol Palin and her fiance or Bristol Palin and the father of her unborn child. All of those things, but they never actually say baby daddy. And I know that's politically incorrect and they're not going to say baby daddy, but that's basically what he is. He's a baby daddy. Until he marries, and he's, he's a baby daddy. Um, this is the unique thing about this. Why is that term unique to African Americans? Why is it? Because certainly, I mean, my goodness, look at the world today. African Americans are not the only ones having children out of wedlock. There are a lot of other races that are having children out of wedlock. However, that term is uniquely to African Americans. Now, this is a little bit of food for thought. Even though that term is uniquely to African Americans, who was the first baby daddy? I'll wait, as Cat Williams says. <laughs> the first baby daddy was the slave master. The slave master was the first baby daddy. Why? Because he had children with women out of wedlock. That's basically what a baby daddy is. Now, with that being said, he they are the ultimate baby daddy. But that term is negative every time that you hear it anyway. And it is uniquely to us as African Americans. Now, uh, I don't really understand where the term baby daddy comes from. I mean, I know baby, the baby's daddy, baby daddy. I get that. So I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, is that it's unique to us. We don't, 
Um, it's not really given to any other race or it's not referred to as any other race, but it's just referred to with us. Why is that? You know, I mean, we could sit here forever and a day and talk about, you know, Sarah Palin and her daughter. And by the way, Sarah Palin is the interesting thing I find about her. I mean, there's many. But the most interesting thing I found out about or find about her is that she is 100% abstinence only. She believes in that teaching in the school system. She's not for sex education and 100 and I'm sorry, sex education and um, abstinence. She's not for teaching them side by side. She's for teaching 100% abstinence. That's ironic considering that you have a 17 year old daughter that is pregnant and she is not married. She must have been absent on that day. I'm going to assume maybe she didn't get it or the memo. I don't know, but she missed it. So whatever. But <laughs> I mean, we could dwell on that. But what I want to kind of throw out there to you guys is, is that if I say baby daddy or famous baby daddies or celebrity baby daddies or well-known baby daddies, you guys will probably respond with somebody like Puffy or um, 50 Cent or pretty much a lot of guys out there nowadays. Um, but we never really think about the other side, the, the white baby daddies. We never think about that. And this is not knocking them or being down on them, but I just wanted to give you guys food for thought. And so I wanted to put it out there and I want you to enjoy because I want to pay tribute to baby daddies, the other side of the coin. Enjoy. Now something to do and 